The first stars in the universe, known as Population 3 stars, ignited more than 13.5 billion years ago, marking the cosmic dawn, the era when the universe transitioned from darkness to light. These stars were massive, hot, and short-lived, producing the first heavy elements that later formed galaxies, planets, and even life. Scientists long believed that these stars could grow indefinitely, reaching hundreds or even thousands of times the mass of the Sun. However, a recent study led by Piyush Sharda at Leiden Observatory has revealed that magnetic fields played a crucial role in limiting their growth, even before radiative feedback could take effect. This groundbreaking discovery changes our understanding of early star formation, offering new insights into how the universe's first light sources shape the cosmos. In this video, we will discuss how stars form and what limits their growth, how magnetic fields stopped population three stars from growing beyond a certain mass, and what this means for the universe and our search for these ancient stars today. To understand why Population 3 stars couldn't grow forever, we need to explore how modern stars form and what forces regulate their size. All stars are born inside molecular clouds, massive, cold gas clouds scattered across the universe. When gravity pulls the gas together, it forms a dense core, which eventually becomes a protostar. Think of a protostar as a baby star that's still growing by pulling in more gas from its surroundings. This process, called accretion, is what allows a star to gain mass. However, this growth is not unlimited. Certain forces push back and prevent a star from growing forever. One of the biggest limiting factors is radiative feedback. As a star heats up, it starts emitting powerful radiation. This radiation interacts with the surrounding gas, creating an outward pressure that resists the inward pull of gravity. The stronger this radiation becomes, the harder it is for new material to fall onto the star. Eventually, the gas gets pushed away completely, preventing further growth. Another crucial factor is magnetic fields. As young stars rotate, they generate strong magnetic fields, which drive stellar winds, powerful streams of charged particles that blow away surrounding gas. These winds further limit the amount of material the star can absorb capping its size. In modern stars, radiative feedback and magnetic fields work together to regulate stellar mass. But what about the first stars? Scientists initially believed that population three stars lacked these constraints, allowing them to grow to enormous sizes. This assumption was based on the fact that these stars were made of pure hydrogen and helium without heavier elements that influence modern star formation. However, something didn't add up. If population three stars really reached thousands of solar masses, their supernova explosions should have left behind clear chemical evidence in ancient gas clouds. But so far, we haven't found it. This suggested that something else must have stopped them from growing too large. For decades, scientists have tried to determine the actual mass of population three stars through computer simulations. Many of these simulations only accounted for gravity and radiative feedback, leading to the conclusion that these stars could reach hundreds or even thousands of solar masses. However, something wasn't adding up. If they truly grew this large, their supernova explosions should have left behind clear chemical signatures, but we haven't found any. This is where the groundbreaking new study comes in. Researchers at Leiden Observatory ran new simulations that included magnetic fields for the first time in a detailed way. The results were astonishing. Without magnetic fields, the POP3 stars grew up to 120 solar masses. With magnetic fields, they maxed out at 65 solar masses, almost half the size. This suggests that magnetic fields were a dominant factor in limiting the mass of population three stars even before radiative feedback could take effect. But how exactly did this happen? The answer lies in magnetohydrodynamic MHD turbulence. As gas flows toward a forming star, magnetic fields introduce turbulence that disrupts the smooth accretion of material.
instead of falling neatly into the star, much of the gas gets redirected or blown away, significantly reducing the amount of material that can actually be absorbed. This finding rewrites the story of early star formation. Instead of growing indefinitely, magnetic fields were already capping population three stars at around 65 solar masses, shaping their evolution in ways previously unaccounted for. Understanding how magnetic fields shaped early star formation has huge implications for multiple areas of astrophysics. First, it helps explain why we don't see supernova evidence for ultramassive stars. If the first stars weren't as massive as previously thought, then their explosions wouldn't have left behind the same chemical fingerprints that scientists were looking for. It also changes how we think about the formation of the first black holes. Some theories suggest that the largest population three stars collapsed directly into black holes, seeding the growth of supermassive black holes. However, if these stars were smaller than previously estimated, then this process might not have been as common as we thought. Additionally, these findings influence our search for population three stars today. While no confirmed POP3 stars have been observed, astronomers are looking for indirect evidence using the James Webb Space Telescope. Webb has already spotted ancient galaxies that appear much brighter and hotter than expected, suggesting they may be powered by high-mass population 3 stars. If future observations confirm this, it could finally provide direct proof of these long-theorized stars. The discovery means that magnetic fields were already influencing the large-scale structure of the universe at its earliest stages. They may have played a role in determining how the first galaxies formed, how early cosmic gas was distributed, and even how the first planets eventually took shape. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into astrophysics, hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic discoveries, and let me know in the comments what you think about this groundbreaking revelation. Until next time, keep looking up and stay curious.